Welcome back to Persona 4 Gold, and we are currently at school. We are, uh, Nanako is better, and we caught the Guardian last time. So this time, uh, we have a bunch of social links. It's really creepy, to be honest. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hang out with Naoto today. So let's go ahead and spend some time with her. Yes. Samigawa floodplain. The man in black you met before is waiting here. Fog has enveloped the area. I do thanks for that game. I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogani estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. I must also apologize. Though I may not have known, I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. My master has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. Please forgive me. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. The card reads as follows. I did what you can't stand to at a place you'd be fond of, but underneath rather than inside. A place I'd be fond of. Hmm, how about somewhere high? You remembered. Nato is nodding cheerfully. The highest place around here is... The hill. Next, what I can't stand to do. There are several possibilities, but... Uh, let's see here. The answer is throwing things away? That's right! Did I mention that before? Yes, yes you did. Naoto has an embarrassed smile on her face. Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. I have an inkling of what might be there. Let's go, senpai. The hill overlooking town. Fog has enveloped the area. It seems there was something taped to the bottom of the trash can. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. <sighs> you calm down and upset Naoto. If I solve this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes, and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective? It was because mysteries intrigued me, and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? Yeah, kind of. It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. Nato is trying to smile through her tears. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I find
finally think I can accept myself. That I'm a woman. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I... I am a woman. And a detective. One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. You can sense Naoto's strong will. All right. Well, that was intense. At least we figured out who the person is. I'm really glad I came to this town. It's where you and I live. And all the others, too. You spent some time with Naoto and went home. Okay, well, now we have something else we need to do. We can work as a tutor today, which we're gonna do, but one of the big things that we need to do before we do that is catch some bugs. So previously, I wanna head to the shopping district and say, but we went and we turned in the guardian to the dude at the, um, at the riverbank. And he gave us some hints on how to catch the beach guardian. So first let me save and I'll meet you at the shrine. All right, and we caught the Genji beetle. We're gonna wanna get at least one of those. Um, we got three, but we're not gonna be going to catch the sea guardian for a hot minute. So I'm not, like, don't really worry about it. And we're gonna go tutor today. We've got all the stuff we need to do that. Um, for the record, I absolutely positively hate this part of the game because of the creepy music. It's not even music, it's just creepy. Anyway, we're going to tutoring. You tutored Shu and tried to kill my microphone. Fits. Is this going to show up on any tests? If it is, I want to know a way to memorize it. He began to explain it to him in an easily understood manner. I've got a big test coming up. It's going to cover a lot of material. Oh well, I'll be at the head of the class this time too. I won't lose. I will not lose. Shu looks anxious despite what he said. Mister. Hey, getting good grades, being great at sports, being fun to talk to and good looking. Is it possible for anyone to be all those things? Do you know anyone like that? Uh, this guy. You mean yourself? You're really full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Teach me your ways. Shu laughs. I've been having this dream lately. In my dream, I'm on a train. It keeps speeding up, but I don't know where the tracks lead. There are no exits, so I can't get out, but there's someone coming from the car behind me. I can hear the doors opening and the footsteps. I don't know who it is, and I get scared. Every time I have that dream, the person gets one car closer to me. Hmm, either one. You must be tired. Probably. The only time I get to rest is when I'm sleeping, and I can't even do that right now. I want to be free. Shu's face is pale. If I'm not at my best... Shu suddenly looks tormented. Uh, you want to cheer him up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I need to do my best. Thank you. Shu tries to smile. Please, come back again. Shu looks helpless. It seems that Shu is opening up to you. Well, definitely doing something. Actually, we reached rank 8 on this, so we're moving right along on that. I feel like I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Goodbye. Mister, you finished your touring you. job and went home. <laughs> touring, not touring. Not like we're driving around in circles or anything. Maybe we are. I don't know. Today is Labor Appreciation Day, so you have the day off from school. All you can do now is wait for the situation to unfold. What should you do today? Well, uh, we're gonna head out actually, and uh, we want to head out with Marie actually because we're gonna be hitting rank 10 with that you really want to make sure that you kind of prioritize that right now because you want to get that done quick because we're going to be um there's going to be there's a time limit on that i don't remember exactly when it is but it's coming up real quick here i don't let's actually talk to some people my mom she says the fog is dangerous and that she wants to move out soon i wonder if we wouldn't have to move if the weather lady said that the weather was going to be clear skies but even if we move, I'll be with my little sister, so I'll be fine. For as long as I can remember, my sister has been with me, walking home, playing. We were always together. Even if we're not exactly the same, being that close to each other is still special, right? Anyway, thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. The fog's been out a lot lately, hasn't it? I've heard weird rumors while I was on the road to 
Yomenai-san. Yomenai-san. Maybe I should just stay home and read. <laughs> hey, hey, do you want to talk to me? Hmm? What do you want to talk about? Um, um, anything is fine. Just go ahead and ask me anything. Aw. Uh, let's me make sure that I can actually complete huh? this today. So, you came. Um, are you busy? Make some time. You're supposed to. I want to make memories with you. All right, so let's see here. Our relationship is going to deepen. I'm not gonna bother going to get an Aeon persona because we shouldn't need it. Let's go. I want to see your room today. That's okay, right? You decided to take Marie to your room. Don't forget we're dating her, so. Your room. You brought Marie to your room. Hmm. hmm. What's up? Huh. Huh. Marie is looking around your room. Um, what's wrong? I'm trying to memorize what your room is like, that's all. So this is where you live. It feels kind of funny. Marie seems deeply moved. Okay. I now have another memory. A new memory that doesn't have anything to do with the old me. It really does make me happy. Look, I couldn't remember anything. I was fretting, anxious. I took it out on you. I'm sorry. Wow, she apologized. But I'm okay now. Let's make lots of memories. Memories so fun, I won't care about the past anymore. Hmm, leave it to me. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't do it without you. So, you'd better lead the way. Marie smiles devilishly. Oh, yeah. Here. I don't need to worry anymore, so I'm giving this to you. Obtained old bamboo comb. Finding my memories, making new ones, Either way, I'll be with you, right? So, I want you to have this. You can sense Marie's passionate love. But anyway, we've maxed out her social link at this point. I want to say you need to have it done by the end, like the 3rd of December, maybe? I don't remember exactly when it is, but it's actually relatively soon. Um, maybe it's the end of December. I think in February is when we're going to be going into the extra dungeon that's added with her on top of Persona 4 Golden. Um, yeah, this she's not in the original, so just in case you didn't know. People see what they want to see and believe what they want to believe. But I know you're different. No matter how thick the fog is, even if you're misguided by lies and illusions, I know you can find the truth. I'm cheering for you. Hey, thanks. So, what do we do? You're gonna make new memories with me, right? Memories of the two of us. You and Marie spent a long time together. Take that as you will, children. I'm assuming you took her home. <laughs> anyway, we got the Soma and a prize sticker. Fantastic. Uh, we're not going to be working today. We're going to be heading out, though, because I want to catch some extra bugs at the shrine. And um, I think we have plenty of Genji beetles uh, to do at least some stuff. So I'm just going to run in here and just catch some bugs. Not a bad idea to oh we got a jewel beetle. Uh we didn't need that, but that's okay. We all at least got one, so I think that's four. We can fish eight times. Is that right? I think that's right. So uh yeah, that's actually good and stuff. Uh what I wanted to do actually is head out. Um I think we have enough prize stickers to send out for another prize. Is there a letter box up here? I think. Is that it right there? At the textile shop. I want the mailbox. Can I? There we go. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get the rare combo, actually. I don't think there's anything of real interest. What is Mr... What are you doing out here this evening? Cough, hack. I haven't been feeling like my usual self lately. My daughter-in-law has been nagging at me to stay put, but if I don't protect this town, who will? Right. Um, so now there's something else that we want to do and what we're going to start doing with our extra time, uh, especially at night. If you head over to the left of the shrine here, there's this little um, Yashiro. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's a small shrine and you can draw matchmaking fortunes. It costs 200 yen and um, you can draw for uh, anybody that you want. And um, we're going to draw for I. And we're going to get a small boost to the social link if you do this. This is great blessing. You feel like you've gotten a little closer to I. The fortune says your relationship will not become stronger yet. So yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of that in order to gain um, social link points with folks. And you can do that pretty much every evening. You overhear students talking. I can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh, why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that it is natural. If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately, but I guess it's nothing really unusual. We'll get further into the story pretty soon. Oh boy. Who wants to hang out with us today? It looks like Naoto wants to spend some time with us, which we are gonna do, so that's fine. Maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. Days like these, I just want to spend all day counting my money at home. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's easy to count when you use a sequence of numbers with a common difference. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Numbers with geometric progression are more difficult to count by. Here's a sequence that's even harder to count by. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. You, Kuhn, can you answer this? Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. What is this sequence called? It's the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, sequences are fun. Yep, that's the Fibonacci sequence. Good to know you're studying. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by starting with zero, then one, then all others are the sum of the two before them. I wouldn't dream of having my money grow in a geometric progression, but at the very least, I could wish for a Fibonacci growth. Sorry that I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. Not that we've been fighting, but he's been going on about how the fog is poisonous. Ugh, I'm so depressed. Let's just continue with the lecture. I don't know what to do with you, lady. I really don't. Okay, so we are in fact going to hang out with Naoto today. I'm doing a quick search here on rank 10. I don't even know where the rank 10 is on that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, oh, what, wait, where's your friend? No one knows what's causing this fog. I wonder if we're okay here. This is kind of scary. Right now, I'm more afraid of the fog than I am of the test coming up. Even my friends are afraid now. Hmm. Hey, you. Is it true that there's poison in the fog? If it is true, then it's too late now, huh? But that's the rumor going around town. It's a bioweapon, it's poison, all that good stuff. Hey, we got a quest here. My mother's always telling me that I should be studying more. She keeps bringing up this kid in elementary school and saying that I'm needing to be like him. Isn't that crazy? What kind of super kid is he anyway? I'd like to ask you for a special favor. Could you listen to me for a second? Sure. The girl on the roof, what do you think she thinks of me? Well, there's nothing I can do about it, but change myself. I already have a plan. You know, that girl said she wanted to be a vet, so I think that she'll need an animal guide. So if I give her one of those as a present, don't you think it'll score me some major points with her? But my problem is that I don't have the slightest clue of where I could get something like that. Do you have any ideas? Sure. Huh? You mean like an infomercial or something? You don't? What? Well, if you do think of a way to find one of those, could you bring it to me? Oh, a reward. Right, a reward. I'll give you something really special. Come on, help me out here. All right. It's a picture book that an older scholar or magician would use. From a magician, like, on top of a cloud or something. That That's extraordinarily specific, but also really vague. 
Let's see here. Anybody here wants to talk to us? Um, I don't think so. Hey, teach. Oh, you. What a coincidence that our paths should cross again. I'm afraid I need your abilities once more. Sure. Ah, just what I expected from someone who understands the impact of history like yourself. The truth is, I'm thinking of making another dowsing instrument. This time, I need you to search for an ore I can use to make a pendulum. If there is a rare enough metal out there, I'm sure I can make use of its power. Only problem being, of course, that rare metals are usually very valuable and may not be easy to find. But you're something else, you. If anyone can do it, it's you. I will have a conferable rare item awaiting your return and delivery. Sure. Confident words. I'll leave it to you. All right. So uh, you recall that a girl in front of the movie theater in Okina asked you to look into something. Maybe Miss Sof Sofu? Miss Sofue would know something. Did I pronounce that right? Sofue? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. What's the matter? Is there something else you want to ask me? You asked Miss Sofue about out of place artifacts. Oh my, what an odd question to hear from a student. A few such stories come up from time to time when one researches history. Out of place artifacts are, Miss Fue delivers a detailed series of reports regarding out of place artifacts. You, I want you to cherish that passion for history you have. You think Miss Fue and leave, maybe you should share what you've learned with the girl by the movie theater. Yeah. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure we got all the quests. I think there might be a couple more hiding about. Does not look like there's any here at the moment, except for the Riddle Master. I don't have the answers to this. Hang on. All right, well, let's do this. Yo, sup? I got some good riddles for you. Huh? My exams? Yeah, I'm kind of on the verge of throwing in the towel, but I've got the fire. I'm going to keep on fighting. Sorry, I lied. I already gave up. I didn't want to face my riddle brother like that, but I can't lie to you. I guess it's employment for me, but I can't imagine sacrificing this afro just for interviews. Years of care and grooming versus less gainful employment. It's a tough choice, but right now, it's riddle time. How about you? All right, sure. All right, we're going to be doing uh, Revenge of the Riddle Senpai. Oh, I'm looking real forward to this. Then it's time for another logical throwdown. Once again, the category is categories. Our old friends group A and B are back in effect. F's in group A, G's in group B. N is in group A. O is in, or is, yeah, O is in group B. Which group does P have detailed onto the side of his ride? Uh, B group? Oh yeah, then what do the letters in that group have in common, son? Uh, the way they're drawn. Out of sight, way to go, riddle bro. Riddle bro. You were able to view the letters in terms of curves and angles and you've ascertained the distinction. However, that one was easy, just a little mental appetizer before the main course. I knew I'd have to step my game up to give you a worthy challenge. All right, now for the next problem. Next one's another group riddle, baby. TC is in group A, XE is in group B, MD is in group A, RN is in group B, BK is in group A, NE is in group B. Which of these three in, is in groups A's speed dial? Uh, Prometheum. Correct. Element number 60, 61, Prometheum. Much like Prometheus himself, you were bringing the heat, son. Te uh, technetium, berkelium, and mendelvium are all synthetic elements with prime atomic numbers 43, 97, and 101. Masataka Ogawa, Ogawa thought he found element 43 and named it Nipponium. He didn't. He found element 75 and didn't know. It is now time for me to spit the final verse. This is this time it's a find the mismatch problem. It took me a long time to come up with this one. Which of these things is not like the others? Stop, need, decimal, arts, penal, wines, onset, or guns. Which of these should find a different circle of friends? Uh, need. Most impressive. I was firing my shots but wasted ammunition. My chance to hit you was like zero division. All the other words can be formed into at least two other single word anagrams that use every letter. This means that you are the champion, my friend. You are no longer just a riddle brother. You and I are like riddle partners in crime or riddle soulmates or some kind of cradle, crazy riddle epoxy. So to celebrate this kinship of game gamesmanship, I'll hook you up with this. Stay sharp, my man. And we got a chewing soul out of that. That was not worth it, yo. Anyway, moving on, like long on here. 
Uh, let's see. Does anybody here have... That's Kanji. Yes, yeah, so we have another quest over here. Do people ever think they'd be happier if they could go back and live in the past? I've been wondering. I've only been listening to my radio and it's like my heart just yearns for a return to those simpler times. Listening to the radio on a lazy summer day, just the two of us, without a care in the world. The radio I'm listening to hasn't changed at all. Why is the rest of the world so different? To be honest, I have another favor to ask of you. Sure. I want to build another crazy, another crystal radio, just like the one I had when I was a kid, but I can't find what I need. I used a mineral called Old Ore, but it seems to be quite rare now. Is there anything that you could do about it? Sure, I'll try to find you some. Thank you. I really can't order it from anywhere, and I was at a complete loss. Sorry to ask so much of you, but I'm counting on you. All right, well, we got the Old Ore stuff, so that's good. Let's head upstairs. I don't remember. I think there's like a somebody up here that has a quest for us. Yeah. Wow, it's almost December. Huh. I know it's a long way still, but I kind of dread this time of year. We always have these big family gatherings on Christmas, which means we need to make a lot of food. And then it's New Year, so there's even more preparing to do. Why me? All I want to do is go outside. Um, you senpai, I'd like to ask another favor of you, but sure. Do you think you could find me a piece of classy lumber? See, I'm thinking about building a shelf, something nice that you could easily display models on. I want to surprise my dad with it, but I can't seem to get a hold of any quality wood. I know it's a lot to ask, but senpai, you're the only one I know who can do this. Sure. You're amazing, senpai. I apologize for putting you out like this all the time. Please, all I need is a piece of classy lumber. All right, so... There it is, I guess. Um, I don't want to talk to any of these people, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead uh, and head into... I'm checking my notes here. There we go. Let's head actually to the first floor of the classroom building. Because we're going to hang out with uh, Naoto today. Anybody have any quests? I don't think so. Alright, so our relationship is going to become closer soon. So let's go yeah. ahead and spend the day with her. Sumigawa Riverbank. Fog has enveloped the area, because of course it has. I think it'll change anytime soon. It feels like such a long time ago that we were here chasing after the Phantom Thief. It was an unforgettable case, full of rewards. I enjoyed it. What about you? Uh, what about me? Well, let's see here. The answer that's the best. I actually don't think there's for like uh, 10. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna say it was exciting Yes, I thought so too. It was even more invigorating to solve it with you Nato is smiling cheerfully So um, I wanted to give you something today I made this. Please accept it. You, detain you obtained detective badge. I haven't crafted anything like this in some time. If I went back to the estate, I could have added a camera and transceiver. Oh, but it flashes. I made myself one to match. Oh, fantastic. Now you're my assistant, senpai. Hmm. Leave it to me. All right. You realize I'm quite serious about this, yes? Oh, gosh. I have done something bad. Nato is smiling cheerfully. The title of detective became a burden to me. I thought I had no other aspects apart from detective self. But you and the others gave me a reason to be as neither adult nor a man. So, I... I was able to face myself as myself. Before the detective, before the child, before the woman. By spending time with you all, I changed day by day. It frightened me before, but now, with everyone, with you, I can proudly proclaim that I am myself. Nothing more, but nothing less. Naoto is smiling gently. All right, and because we've reached rank 10, that means her persona has evolved from uh, 
this. Let's see, Nato's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weaknesses has awakened to her heart's true power. And, um... Yeah. Nato's persona has been reborn. So, uh, not much to say here. Like, nothing really changes. This potential was still dormant within me. I wasn't considering the things that I should have. The people who care about me as well as my own self. When I'm with you, I feel fearless. You can sense Nato's warm trust and respect. And uh, yeah, so we're done here. We've got a tight bond with her. We reached rank 10. I'm gonna click through this because honestly, it's the same thing over and over again. We get to build, uh, we can create Norn now. We need to go back through and uh, get some of those persona, but we're kind of waiting for, for now. Oh, and learned Invigorate 3, which is 7 uh, SP during battle. I don't need that. Well then, let us begin. There's a lot you must learn before becoming a detective. I myself can't relent in my training. To become a formidable woman detective. We'll start off with something that may come in handy before too long. Shadowing a suspect. Oh, she's excited about this. Naoto pounded the basics of detective work into you. You had a good time with Naoto, and then you ran away screaming because, man, I'm not here for this. All right, so we can work as a tutor and stuff today. So let's go ahead and head outside. We're gonna go work as a tutor. But first things first, I wanna hit up the shrine and get some more uh, bugs. We should be, I would suggest saving if you're not confident in your fish catching ability. I'm not confident in my fish catching abilities. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Look at me trying to be all confident and stuff in something that I'm most definitely not. Uh, we didn't get any Genji beetles today. That actually kind of sucks, but we do have some, so I'm not really gonna work or gonna worry about it. If you feel like it, you can always do a uh, fortune slip drawing instead, but I'm not gonna do that. It's been a while since I went drinking with you. I know, I know. You want to go to one more bar. I'll go with you, but only because I have to. Not putting up much of a fight today, huh? I bet you need to talk to me about something important. Is that it? No, I just thought having my asshole boss along would be better than drinking alone. Okay, then we're drinking till morning. Don't worry about the fog. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the tutor and it looks like we're gonna get a boost with shoe today, which I actually wasn't expecting. All right, let's go. Ow! I just smacked my microphone. Uh, hey. Well, uh, today... Shushu! I just uh, got a call <laughs> from the school. Shu, it's not true, is it? Shu, it's a lie, right? Shu, look at me, Shu. It's true. Shu. I'm sorry. Please go home today. I'm sorry. Shu's voice is trembling. Shu, what's going on? I... Go home, please. Go home! It looks like you should just go home today. You decided to go home. What happened with Shu? Alright, so yeah, our relationship isn't going to deepen quite yet, but we actually wanted to do that. Um, so it's a prereq, so yeah. The old Japanese calendar had different names for the month. September was Nagatsuki and October was Kanazuki. I, I am really bad with Japanese words. My bad, guys. This weather feels like all the gods have gone away and left us since the last month. This fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped up in gauze, like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, if my house was as nice as one of those ancient pyramids, I probably wouldn't complain about it too much. But mummies are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You, however, have tests coming up. And if you fail the last exams, you have even more cause for concern. I don't want to see you haunting these halls. 
Well then, Yuchan, I have a question for you. Chan! Yuchan, weird. There are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt, but do you know who's buried in the biggest one? And the answer is Khufu? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. That's right, the Great Pyramid is also the tomb of the Pharaoh Khufu, who's also known as Cheops. It took over 20 years to build and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost four millennia. I'm going to put this question on the next week's test. I wish you all luck on moving on to the next grade. Study hard. Well, I don't know how I don't have much else to say about that, so. Yeah, uh, not really. Like I don't speak whatever language that's in. Arabic? Egyptian? Like what? I don't even know. Uh, we're heading- wait, do I need to head into town? We need a lover's persona. I want to make sure that we have that before we go running off like a crazy person. We do? So we're going to be hanging out with Rosette today. There's really not much else going on in town unless you want to go hang out in the fog and get sick. <laughs> Rosette, wrong way. We could go get rid of some of the persona that we have, actually, if we wanted to. Senpai! Um, Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hang out with Rize today. The hill overlooking town. You came here at Rize's solemn request. Fog has enveloped the area. Senpai, I thought about it. Why my mind just went blank when I heard about Konami. I mean... I ran away from showbiz because I was tired of being an idol. So I shouldn't have had any problems. And yet, I felt so angry about it. Why do you think that is? Uh, Rosette is Rise too. Yeah. You knew all along, huh? <laughs> but really, that's how it was. Rosette's name in lights, idolized by the masses. That was me, too. I didn't want to lose that me. Rize is smiling sheepishly. There's no way to become someone else. I ran away from my plain, gloomy self. Then I ran away from my idol self. Right now, I'm the homicide detective self, I guess. <laughs> I would have run away from that as well if I didn't realize. I just like the way that she phrased that, like, because they're trying to, you know, solve the case and everything, so the fact that they're trying to be detectives is just funny to me. I've been trying to become how I wanted to be. I pick a role. When I'm through with it, I continue chasing the real me by picking another role. When in fact, those roles are all me. I don't want to run away anymore. I don't want to search somewhere else for myself. I'm going to hang in there as the complete me. Rize spoke her mind looking straight at you. All right, good job. Rize's determination battle has been enhanced even further. She can now protect the party at times. Yeah, so uh, if an ally would fall to an attack that hits the entire party, Rize will block it once. Kind of nice, actually. I'm glad I came to this town. I'm glad to have met you and the others, too. Sometimes just things happen, crits happen, so it's worth having a little bit of extra, you know, <laughs> Let's protection. Let's go home, senpai. You walked Rize to her house and went home. All right, well, we're free, so let's go ahead and head outside. We wanna catch some bugs, first things first. Um, I'm not gonna save, I'm just gonna go do it. And then we're also going to be reading a few fortune slips over the next few days. I've already showed you guys how that all works, so I'm just gonna click through it when I get them. Um, maybe I'll show off like the like what it says, but other than that, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Oh, that was a little slow. Should have saved. I got a Genji beetle though. I only got, f I got four bucks instead of five. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and read a fortune slip. Um, I want to go ahead and draw a fortune and I want to draw it for people outside of school. Um, and I want to draw it for uh, Eri here. 
That's the woman in, who's got kid at daycare. We haven't finished that one yet. Your relationship could become stronger soon. Very nice. You overhear students talking. Hey, don't you think that there are more and more people getting weird because of the fog? I even see people wearing these huge gas masks around town. Yeah, and people are getting sick too. Haven't there been people saying a lot of weird stuff lately? Like that the world is ending and that global warming is because of original sin, nutty stuff like that. Hey, what do you think's going to happen if you think someone's sick but you don't do anything about it? You mean, I mean, to be honest, yesterday my dad So some weird stuff's going on. We're getting really close to uh, the next part of the story, so. Good morning. What's up, you guys? You don't look so well. Are you exhausted from studying for the test around the corner? I hope you're not forgetting something. Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? Uh, Christmas in Japan is like a couple's holiday, which is a family holiday here in America, so there's a little bit of a difference there. Haha, uh -huh, I've got mine already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. All right, I'll ask a question regarding cakes. Narukami. Which of these is considered a rice cake? And the answer here is mochi. Excellent, mochi is a type of rice cake. When you think of cake, you think dessert, but something pounded together is also called a cake. That's the case with mochi as it's rice pounded together. As another example, kamaboko is a fish cake, fish meat pounded together. I have no idea what that is. No, I don't think I've ever, maybe I've had it, I don't know. I wouldn't know. However, you probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. Haha. <laughs> Moving on. No, we're gonna be hanging out with Yosuke this evening. I do not have a magician persona on me though. So what I actually wanna do is I wanna head out to the um, the central shopping district. I'm gonna go do that get the persona and I'll meet you downstairs on the first floor, second floor. I'm not sure where, actually do not, I'll meet you wherever uh, Yosuke is. Okay, we are back at the school. We're on the second floor, but uh, I wanna talk to Hanako here. Hey, you, are you on good terms with that Prince of Juness? Who does she mean? Uh, you mean that bear? Bear, what are you talking about? It seems you were mistaken. Uh, did you mean Yosuke? Huh? Seems you were mistaken. Wait, did you mean Naoto? Hmm, the Prince of Juness. I wonder who she's talking about. I don't know if she's talking about Teddy or not. Yo! Hey, you. We did what we could. Nanako-chan would want us to live normal lives, right? Yosuke is trying to cheer you up. Well, we're gonna go ahead and hang out uh, with him. Oh. The hill overlooking town. Yosuke brought you here. Fog has enveloped the area. Good God. I hated this place when I first came to Inaba. You can tell how small the town is from up here. But looking at it now, it's a nice town. <laughs> Yosuke is smiling sadly. Hmm, cheer up. If it were only that easy. Yosuke has a self-mocking smirk on his face. I want to tell Saki-senpai something. That what's important isn't where you are. This town I hated so much, now I love it. There's still nothing here, but I have family and friends and you. The important things are never far off. They're all around you. Yosuke seems a bit embarrassed. I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life. Before you know it, you're already special to someone. Hmm, you're right. Yeah, like you. You're special to me, you know? Yosuke is rubbing his nose. You can feel Yosuke's warm trust. That wasn't a, that was not a romantic confession. <laughs> FYI. I know people like to take stuff like that as romantic, but it doesn't have to be. 
All right. Let's see if we can find everyone's house from here. Through the what? The fog? There's Juness, and that's the main street, so my house is there. The one with that funky roof. Meaning yours is... You spent a long time with Yosuke. Yeah, like I said, uh, like what are we what are we trying to view through the fog when it's like apparently as thick as peanut butter? We can work as a tutor today, um, which I'm actually gonna go do after I try and catch more bugs. So let's go ahead and head to the shrine first. Again, I'm not gonna save. I think I have like five or six bugs. You only really need eight because there's not much more that you can do, but it doesn't hurt to you know try and catch at least a couple extra bugs. No, oh, got it this time. Nice. Uh, got one Genji beetle. Okay, so I think we're up to like six or so. In fact, if you want to check, uh, they are in fact items. So you can just jump in here and they are bugs. I have nine Genji beetles. We do not need any more than nine because we can't use them. Um, if you're planning on doing extra fishing, you might want to catch it or catch some more. Uh, you can catch some of the bugs more or some of the, the fish more than once, like I caught multiple guardians, uh, not really necessary. And you may not want to stress yourself doing that, but if you really want to, you can. All right, let's go tutor today. Um, I'm sorry about what happened last time. It got kind of ugly. Hmm, she says nothing for a while. Hmm. The awkward silence continues. Hmm. Today's date is circled on the calendar. Oh, that's right. Today is my birthday. I forgot. Hey, happy birthday. There's nothing to be happy about. She looks ready to cry. Mom forgot it too. She's not even here. She looks sad. So let's have a modest celebration. You can do either one. You decided to throw a birthday party for Shu. First, you need, uh, we need, we need, we need, we need guests. You need to get guests. Hmm. You decide to call Yosuke. Yo, what's up? You explain the situation to Yosuke. I get it. Well, I can see why you'd want to help the kid out. Leave it to me. Just text me the address and I'll find directions to his house later. It won't be long, okay? Huh? Huh? What's? You decided to wait for Yosuke to arrive. Holy crap, we brought everybody. Huh. She was in total shock. <laughs> hey, I called the whole gang. It's cool, right? You were going to have a small celebration, but Yosuke invited everyone. Sheesh. Yosuke just called us all up out of the nowhere, you know? He was all like, meet us at your nest. I was worried there for a moment. <laughs> but a surprise party like this is the kind of surprise I like. Yes. Me too, but we have to start this off right with a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shu-kun. Happy birthday to you. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Shu is still in shock. Come on, now for the candles. Blow them out. Huh? Huh, but if you don't hurry, you'll end up with wax-flavored cake. And no one wants that. Now come on, blow. Uh, okay. One, two. Shu takes a deep breath. Whoa, it got dark. The lights! Hit the lights! Hey, who did that? It's not me! Ah, no kicking! Huh? Isn't the switch somewhere around here? Ah. Ooh. Ah. I'm sorry, I'll get the switch. Oh no, it's my fault. Huh? Is this your face? Yeah, yes! Please let go of my nose. I'm sorry. sorry. I'll just sit right back down. Ah. Ow, you're stepping on me. I'm sorry. Wait, where am I? Sheesh, Kiko, let me handle this. Gah! Oh, All right, it's the solar plexus. Everyone, just sit down. You, get the lights. Is the cake okay? You kidding? That's the first thing you ask about? Well, let's put that whole mess behind us. I think Kanji was dead. Did you guys see that? He was face down. Happy birthday! Thank you. How old are you? Uh, or 13, I mean 14. Wow, that's young. Man, it must be great to be in the prime of one's youth. Um, you're not exactly an old lady, you know. 
But, um, Shu-kun, your life is only beginning here. Yukiko smiles gently at Shu. Oh, yes. Hmm. Man, you have no idea when to turn on the cute. I mean, it's nothing. It's just the day I was born. Yep, it's a time for celebration. It's a reason to be happy. Should, Should I... I have been born? Ouch! Shu. Shu mumbles to himself. Stupid. 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 Stupid! Stupid. Stupid! Stupid! Uh, Shu is surprised. Of course you should have. Hmm. Shu is still surprised, apparently. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now for the cake. <laughs> yes, let's all have a slice. The party livened up at this point. It's getting late, so everyone went home. Um, thank you. I... Shu begins to cry. I... I was suspended from school. I'm sorry, Sensei. I cheated. I was so worried about the test. If I wasn't number one, I thought... There's no point in anything if I'm not the best. It's all I can be. If I'm not, Mom won't love me anymore. Mom asked me why I did it. She said she was betrayed. Embarrassed. She said, I'm not her son. She was crying. Hmm. Shu begins to sob. Uh, let's go ahead and sue. I think either one. You gently soothe Shu. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> when I was able to write my name for the first time, Mom praised me. She would tell anyone who would listen to listen that I was a genius. So I did my best. I studied all the time so I could live up to her expectations. So that people would accept that Mom could raise a child on her own. Hmm. I always had to be number one. But then he, that transfer student, came along. The school he came from was ahead of us, and he always got perfect scores on the tests. Plus, he's good at sports, good at talking to people. He became the best in everyone's eyes, and they all started laughing at me. I know that all I'm good at is studying, but now I don't even have that. Studying all day, no clubs, no friends. What do I have left? I don't have anything. If nothing... If nothing... I'm nothing if I'm not number one. If everyone, if even mom gives up on me. I'm scared. Cheating was the only option I had. That's what I thought. So I... Sorry. I'm sorry. She begins crying again. Let's, uh, just, um, re let's just reason with him. You gently explain to Shu that he should never do it again. Your diligence has increased. Yes, I won't ever do it again. She it seems Shu understands. It's mom. She's back. Hi. Hmm. I'll go talk with her. Thank you, Th mister. Thank you for today. I was happy. Shu tries to get his emotions under control. You feel that your relationship with Shu has grown deeper. Dude, mom's kind of to blame here for some of that. A lot of that, actually. Come back again. I'll do my best. You left Shu's house and went home. Still, missing your son's birthday is pretty messed up. All right, we have the day off from school today. All you can do now is wait and watch the situation unfold. Finals start tomorrow, so um, next time we're just gonna basically power through the finals. Don't really worry about it, because uh, there's a story at the end of it. I hope you guys are ready. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and just get our stuff. Okay, we've got... Wait, nothing? Nothing? Wait a minute. Apparently there's nothing to purchase today. <laughs> well, um, never mind. So next time, we've got one... How much time do I have left? You know what? Let's actually finish up one of the social links today. Uh, I was going to pause here, but I don't want to because we do have an evening. So we're going to head outside until evening. I've changed my mind. That's right. I can do that. And nothing that you wanna, I want to purchase from you. Let's go ahead and go into town. We're going to head over to Juness. And oh, what's going on here? Three, two. You can't make sense of what he's mumbling about. Duh. 
You can't make sense of what he's mumbling about. That's not good. I heard that Dojima-san was hospitalized. That must be hard on you. But Nanako-chan must be lonely too, so hang in there for her sake. And make sure you two eat your veggies. Yo! Hey you, we did what we could. Yes, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, spend some time with Yosuke today. We're going to finish <laughs> up the social link today. Somigawa Riverbank. Yosuke brought you here a solemn look on his face. Fog has enveloped the area. There's something I wanted to tell you. Somewhere deep down, I didn't trust you. No, it's more like I was jealous of you. I thought you were like me. Coming from the city to the countryside, I thought you'd be bored out of your mind here. But as soon as you got here, you called your persona, became our leader, gathered people. You're a hero. I like you for that, and I'm proud of you. But I guess I was jealous at the same time. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, it can't be helped. You get jealous of people too? <laughs> I can't picture it. When I called you special, I thought some more about it. I think out of everyone, I wanted to be acknowledged by you the most. So, I want you to hit me. Excuse me, what? Give me a good one. Knock out all this crap inside of me. I want to be equal with you. I want us to stand shoulder to shoulder. So come on. Will hitting Yosuke make you and him equal? Um, all right, then let's get equal. Huh? But I don't have a reason to hit you. Uh... I got it now. If we're equal, then I guess you're right. Okay, here I come. Take your best shot. Oh, oh no. Brawl it out with Yosuke. And we're dead. Well. Oh, your punches are brutal. I was seeing stars there for a second. So is it just like a thing for male, like just younger? Is this a high school thing? Is this a is this a boy thing? Somebody explain this to me. But thanks, man. I don't know how to say it, but that sure beat words. Yosuke's face is peaceful. You can have this. You obtained Buddy's bandage. If you start bleeding, put that on. You know, we should fight more often. Phew. The sky's so high up. Can you see it through the fog? Is Saki-senpai watching us? Is she smiling at us? Senpai, I'm going to live without lying to myself, without deceiving myself. Days like today, days like before when I did nothing, they're all important days. They're all days you didn't live to see. I'm going to live them here. Yosuke is smiling gently. All right, there it is. And, uh, we got another persona upgraded to, uh, Susano. There's always, this guy's always a persona, I swear. This is my power? The power to protect what's dear to me, huh? <laughs> Just what I wanted. Let's keep at it so we can live every day with a smile, leader. You can feel Yosuke's warm trust. And we have completed this social link. So yeah, we've reached Max at Magician. We're moving along quite quickly, actually. We still have a little bit of time and we will have some extra time at the end. Um, if you didn't complete any particular social links to finish those up before the final battles. Because if you think, I mean, this is a Persona game. If you think there isn't a boss battle at the very end against, you know, a god, then you're wrong. And he learns Evade Electricity, which is actually really useful. Um, yeah, it triples evasion against 
electricity doesn't make it automatic. Let's go ahead and replace that so we don't really need confusion right now, so it's fine. Well, we're all counting on you, partner. Oh, we shake hands, apparently. That's... Or we just hold hands. I don't know. He spent a long time with Yosuke. All right, so we got... Ooh, we got our package, actually. The bead chain from the... Uh, prize. So what's going to happen next time is we've got, uh, besides exams, we are going to be entering into the final part. Well, not really the final part of the story, but we're going to be going into the next part of the story. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes and choices and stuff like that. So I will see you all then. Oh, and yeah, we'll be going towards the true ending. So that'll all be next time.